I wanted to show off a little uh, chamfer tool that I made. I was looking at the price of indexable tool, tools and uh, mills and stuff online and just for a simple chamfer mill it's more than I wanted to spend so I was like why can't I just machine one myself? I have CNC mill, why not? So I made two here, a uh, 3 8 shank, half inch shank. You can see on the half inch one without the insert the way that I did it basically. I just use a quarter inch end mill to rough it out and then an eighth, min eighth inch end mill to uh, finish it and um, let the cam software do all the work. Because I bought this lot of uh, square inserts on eBay for like, I don't even remember, but it was ridiculously cheap and I needed to find a use for them. So it's just a, um, a four millimeter screw on top, like a typical tool holder screw. Bought a couple of those. And this guy I made it two-sided because I wanted to try wanted to see the difference between how thick the bottom needs to be. You see the thickness on that side versus which side's thicker. I can't remember. One side puts the um, the face of the insert at center line, like on this half inch end mill. One of them puts the face at center line and the other one puts it above center line just like this one, which is above center line by, I think it's 1 16th of an inch above center line. So it's not, um, you know, concentric when it spins, but that is okay. I think it's just fine. Also, you can kind of see it's offset to the right, about 15 thou. Um, that is to make sure it's only cutting on the edge on the right hand side, not on the left hand side, because it spins in this direction and you only want it to sweep with the one side not with both sides not with the back side of the trailing edge and let me tell you it works awesome just awesome um, it's kind of a thick insert I think it's eighth of an inch thick so it only the smallest hole I've been able to do is about 0.19 of an inch um, but I mean that's that's a drilled hole. Chamfer mill is usually meant for like profiles and stuff like that and I've been using it a lot for that. And it works just dandy. It's really cool. So bottom line, don't be afraid to at least try making your own indexable tool holders. I also harden these. I use my torch, heat it cherry red, dip it in um, water, dunk it in water or uh, safflower oil until it's cooled off and then wire wheel it off and now you have a hardened tool holder. This thing cost me like less than a dollar, not including the inserts. And about a day in time to futz around with it. So don't be afraid to make your own tool holders.